If I could save time in a bottle The first thing that I'd like to do Is to save every day Till eternity passes away Just to spend them with you If I could make days last forever Hey, uh, what is Comic Crack you ask? If you want to know, you Google mo. Since you're here already, Comic Crack is the best comic reader in the world. Go use it if you want to read comics. Well, duh. It has a lot of features and settings to maximize your reading experience and lets you edit them so they can fit your preferences. But of course, you already know that and you want to know more. I mean, that's why you're here, right? <laughs> so let me show you the basics. In this tutorial, you'll learn where to find comics, how Comic Rack can help you execute those comic files, and what Comic Rack can do beyond those things. Hi, I'm Antonio Lara, but you can call me Anthony, and this is Comic Rack. If words could make wishes come true. Okay. You want to read comics, then stop this video and close your laptop. And Usually comics cost $150 per issue in stores such as Phil Bars and Comic Odyssey, but uh, it's not really recommended for those who are saving money. But with Comic Rack, you can do both. So, okay, you have to download two things first. If you haven't downloaded uTorrent and Comic Rack itself, then go ahead. Go to Comic Rack's official site right here and click downloads it will redirect you to a page where you can download the right one for your device so in this case we're going to have to download comic rack for windows so click the blue button right there and then after that go to uTorrent's official site and click this orange button right here to download uTorrent so after you've, do you've downloaded those two, then you're all set to download comics. So Google the comic you want to download, the torrent you want to download, and in this case I downloaded Aquaman, and it's already seeding, which means it's nearly done. I just need to stop it, and there you go. Um, so make sure you know where to locate the file. If you don't, you can right click the torrent and click set download location. And place that file wherever you want except the recycle bin so you'll find your comic I'm gonna put mine in uh, here so select folder you can click this either during downloading or after downloading you can also set the default location for all and future files, but that's up for you, but that's up to you to Google it out. Google it out. Now that we've got our reader and our comic, let's start reading. Okay, let's close these and open Comic Rack. When you first open Comic Rack, there will be an instruction booklet to guide you with the basics. However, mine's already downloaded um, a while ago, so I already closed that booklet. But in your case, it's right there. So let's open a new tab here for our comic. Yup, that means you can read as many comics as you want without the hassle of reopening each comic over and over again. So locate the folder where your comics are, are located. Remember, we set the destination to Drake earlier. So open that here. Find the comic you want to read and uh, click it. So there you go. Make sure that uh, fit all and fit on and only fit if oversized are selected here. The other buttons do other stuff and that's for you to experiment on. If you want to read it in full screen, press F11 on your keyboard. Then adjust the size right here. So there are percentages there that will allow you to adjust the size. So you can also click Control and then scroll on your uh, mouse to adjust the size. And scroll down to read. 
easy. More settings can be found here, but this is just the gist of it. Let's see what else it can do. So to change how you view your collection, uh, okay, uh, you can click view right here. So it will change the view through thumbnails, tiles, or details. Okay, meanwhile, the pages tab here shows you the pages of the comic. You can change how you view the comic's pages by clicking the view button here. And if you want to uh, skip to a page, just click that page and voila. Okay, let's head on to custom lists. Custom lists help you organize your comics. You can create one list for Marvel, for DC, for Indies, for your younger brother, or for Vincent, or whoever you want. <laughs> to make one, click library and click the custom lists button right here. So click that and uh, type the name of the list in that box. And then click OK. So we have Vincent's comics. Then go back to your folders and select the comics you want to put in Vincent's comics in the list. So drag and drop it right there. Easy. Another list is called the smart list. I'm not going to be explaining this further because it's a little complicated. However, it helps you organize your comics in your library without the drag and drop option using uh, using filters. So I'm going to click that and those are the filters which help you organize the comics. So yeah. ends today's tutorial on comic rack those were just the basics and if you want to know more go to the website at www.comicrack.sayoleto.com slash wiki or scroll on a bunch of youtube videos thank you for taking the time to watch this i'm anthony and this is comic rack the best comic reader in the world or the universe rather Or the universe, rather.